Bonsoir, Ask Poche. My name is Avide Motoenfar and I'm a member of the movement of Solidarity for a Democratic Iran and I'm honored to be opening and closing this great event tonight. Honorable Senator Fromm, Ms. Sherry Parkes, Member of Parliament, Mr. Michael Parson, Member of Provincial Parliament, Mr. Reza Moridi, former Provincial Minister of Research and Innovation, Ms. Karen Silovitz, City Councillor for the City of Richmond Hill, outstanding keynote speakers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Solidarity for a Democratic Iran, SDI, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you tonight. As you have noticed, we, have, we are blessed with a fantastic lineup of speakers who will each address the issue of gender equality and women's rights here in Canada as well as in Iran. At this time, I would like to briefly introduce Solidarity for a Democratic Iran, SDI. In the course of past month, the Islamic regime in Iran marked its 40th anniversary. The Iranian women were among the first victims of human rights violations immediately upon the arrival of Ayatollah Khomeini to Iran in February 1979. Forced to job, followed by immediate changes in civil laws affecting all the rights women were enjoying during the Pahlavi era. Democratic rights such as divorce right, legal marriage age, and custody rights can be listed as the violations of women's rights that were replaced by the barbaric Sharia laws. But violations of women's rights is just one of the facets of the Islamic Republic's long list of discrimination terror and corruption. The Islamic State has not only repressed women, but also religious minorities, especially Baha'is, member of the LGBTQ community, whose existence is punishable by death, ethnic communities, foreign refugees, immigrants, Iran's neighbors, and other regional communities. Domestically, Iran is currently experiencing a period of severe economic and political crisis, consequences of more than four decades of political repression, economic mismanagement, corruption, cultural chauvinism that is only emulated by some of the most brutal dictatorships today. For those of us lucky enough to have found refuge in the coming societies such as Canada's, the numbers in terms of loss of talent and human capital speak volume of the 40 years of failure of the Islamic Republic. Since 1979, more than 5 million of highly educated and skilled Iranians with billions of dollars of assets have been forced to leave their homeland in search of personal freedoms and better living conditions elsewhere. We believe that the role of the Iranian diaspora during this critical period is very important. Providing public awareness that could result in international support and sympathy for Iranian people is one of the major responsibilities of any diaspora communities within their host societies. SDI aspires to dispatch this duty through adherence to and advocacy for the following three principles. Transition from the Islamic Republic to a democratic system in Iran. Full adherence to the principles laid out in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And full respect of the territorial integrity of Iran. May these principles be the basis of an inclusive and productive solidarity with the people of the world. Thank you.